What can we do with the um, toolbar? We'll turn off the um, spot uh, fragments for now, so we'll just see the raw animation for the explosion. Um, what I'm actually going to do, just explain to about the colours, how the colour actually works. If we select a base colour of um, say black, so it's all completely black, and say no merge on the colours, and pull all the colours down. And what you can see, if I push the red up, I get red explosion. I push the green up, I start getting some green in there. Okay, so a bit of red and green, and the blue. And obviously now I'm mixing all the RGB values up. So, so this is how the colours are actually working. So, if I was actually to say specifically, I want to start with orange, then you're actually going to get a red variant of the orange, green variant of the orange, and a blue variant of the orange. So, which obviously isn't always a desirable result. I'm just trying to explain to the what the colour does here. And also, what we can actually do, we can actually move around the different colours, how they merge between themselves. So we can actually merge the green and the blue. So the green and the blue are going to merge now. The red and the blue, and the red and the green. So again, this is just about giving you more controls to create the explosion you want. So uh, we'll create a nice pinky one like so. Okay, so here's a nice pinky explosion we've got going on. What I'm going to do is just quickly explain to you about the particle configurations down the bottom here and how this works. A lot of people have asked this in the past, but it is quite straightforward, really. So, first particle configuration, no frequency, and this is where it actually ends up looking like. If I put a frequency of 1 in, you actually see, well, there's no, um, there's no peaks to the explosion. So I'm just going to push up the amplitude just to show you. So here we go, we've got one peak going off to the right. If I put 2 in, I've got two peaks now, and this is how simple it really is. So three peaks, three, four, four, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, the phase is um, well for what we're doing here. You can treat it as the rotation of this particular shape. So if I turn it around, you can see the star is now almost straight on. Phase is going around slightly different angle, and so on and so on. Simply, the second particle configuration down here is just another layer. Of the explosion. So if I did another layer that was say four, I've now got an explosion inside that's four, on top of the one that's five, and then the two actually interact with each other as well. So what you actually start getting is some random um, generation each time to make your explosions unique. Okay. So the best thing you can actually do is play around with them. Now what I'm actually going to do is go back and just very quickly explain the amplitude. The amplitude is the um, how high the peaks of the explosion are. So for example, I'm all the way up here at amplitude of one. If I pull this down halfway, you'll see the peaks aren't so high now. So I'll put it down to zero, no peaks at all. They're all quite flat, uniform. So again, 0 0.7, for example, I get some higher peaks. So I get some good random variations going on uh, by adding the other particles to it. And I can start creating a more dynamic explosion. Okay, so that's roughly what these particles, are, uh, the particle configuration is down here. So you just play with this until you find the configurations you're happy with for your explosion. Okay, what we're going to do now is just have a look at the life of the explosion, the step, the radius, etc., etc. Well, the radius, I think, as you can imagine, that's not actually necessarily the radius of the actual explosion. It's actually um, works in conjunction with the life of the explosion um, to work out how quickly the explosion ends. Um, based on the radius, based on the life of the pig, um, particles. So if I pull the particle life down as well, you can see very quickly it dies. Um, but if I push the radius up, the particles go out further. So I'll pull this right down again, and we'll push the life up a little bit. Okay. Steps is actually going to be how many of the um, ember particles are going to be created inside here. So you can see not so many and quickly fades out. So I'll push this all the way up lots and lots and lots and lots of these embers being created and again for this example we'll make it quite small now then the sparks is these inner sparks that you may have made down just a moment ago and that's if i pull the um, steps down you'll see that's these little fragments coming out now so if i put lots of sparks in you'll see lots more sparks coming out okay so just push it all up there you go lots and lots of sparks push it down not too many. Okay, so let's we'll push this up and make our explosion last a bit longer while we're doing this demonstration. Okay, 
So here's our explosion. Next one down is the um, speed. And that's quite simply how quick actually the overall explosion takes place. Now I've slowed it all down now. And actually when we come to grab this explosion, we'll be able to grab a lot more frames as well because this explosion, the life of the explosion is taking a lot, lot longer to, to process. So that's a very quick overview of um, what the um, interface and what the controllers actually do to generate your uh, explosion. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to have a quick look at how the fragments work within our explosion. And we can choose different fragments from um, the frag effect here, which is like a shattered effect, and how many fragments appear on the screen. So we'll just pull this down a little bit to give us a few less. Um, we can have the coin effect. There you go, the coins are exploding out. And the, and the actual fragments do follow the pattern of the actual um, particles as well. So if you put the peaks up a little bit, there we go. The actual coins do follow, in this example, the peaks. Um, likewise with the rocks, so you can have rocks in your explosion, or the hearts, there's some hearts, or the stars and the sparkle or the glow. So we'll stick with the glow for now. Um, so we can actually just apply the um, fragments to it. And over on the left here in the library, there's just some default explosions I did just to get people going really, just some different colorways and different ideas. Um, another thing you can actually do is actually save your explosion now. So if you actually say save, um, you can actually say, well, I'm going to save this as uh, my explosion one. Okay, so, and a bit later on, you may have changed your explosion, done other things, etc., etc., done some bits, and say, so, well, no, I want to go back to that one. Or you want to share it with somebody, so you can actually load that one back in. Um, so, load your explosion, my explosion. And then here's your explosion that we created earlier. So you can set now save and load your explosions. 